Hello and welcome to this new video. My name is Manzur Rani. I am the author of WP Telegram plugins. In this video, I am going to show you how you can send WordPress posts automatically to Telegram. So here I have my WordPress installation, which is fresh. And then on Telegram, I have a public channel and a private channel and a test group. So I'm going to show you how you can connect all of those three to your WordPress website. So first thing you need to do is go to your WordPress WP admin and hover over to plugins and then select add new. And on this page, you need to search for WP Telegram. When you search for WP Telegram, you will see a bunch of plugins that I'm, I have made for WordPress. So the first one is this. WP Telegram auto post and notifications, which has 20,000 plus installations. So I have already installed this plugin, so I'm, I'm, I'm simply going to activate it. When you activate the plugin, you will see the Telegram menu here, WP Telegram menu. So I'm going to click on it, and this is the settings page. So the instructions are given here how to get started. So the first thing you need to do is you need to create a bot by sending this to bot father. So who is this bot father? Let's find him on Telegram. So I'm going to copy this, open my Telegram desktop app. So if you don't have this Telegram desktop app, you can download it from desktop.telegram.org for your computer. So I am going to search for bot father. And this is the verified account that you need to talk to. And when I start the conversation, I need to start this. I need to send this command, new bot, okay? I'm going to paste it here and hit send. All right, so we need to give this bot a name. I'm going to call it like uh, bot for WP Telegram. All right, so we need to give the username which should end with the bot word. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write WP Telegram test one, two, three, four bot. All right, so we have created a bot. So here is the bot token that we have been given. And we need to copy this bot token, all right, and paste it in this field, in this bot token field. So to make sure everything is good, we should cl click this test token. When I hit test token, I should be able to see the username. So you can see the name of the bot and its username that we had created. All right. So that's the basics. That 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 is the basics that you need to do. And then we can hover over to post to Telegram and activate it. So when you activate it, you can see the instructions here. So first of all, you will be asked to create a group, which we have already done here. We have um, the group here and the channel. Then what you need to do, add your bot, which is this bot that we created just now, as an administrator to your group or channel. So I am going to add the bot as an administrator to all of these three. So to, in the private channel, go to the channel info, then manage channel, and go to administrators and click on add administrator and simply paste the bot username. The bot should show up here and click OK, then give the bot permissions and save. The bot has been added to the private channel. All right, let's do the same for the other channel. Go to manage administrators, add administrator and search for the bot. And OK, that's done. Save. And do the same for the group, all right? So in the group, we can just add it as a member, which is totally fine. So we have added the bot to the group. So this part is done. Now, what we need to do, we need to add the channel username here. And the username is all, only available for public channels. So for example, in this channel, we have this link. All right, so I'm gonna copy. So the username is a part of the link. So I'm going to paste it and remove this link and add, add the rate at the beginning all right so you can see the member count here is only two for now all right then i can add another channel the the private one now here is the 
here's the interesting part. How do we get the ID of a private channel? If you have a private channel and want to send posts to Telegram, then that needs to be handled a bit differently. All right. So here's the instruction given. If you can, you can use the chat ID of a group or private chat, get it from my chat info box. So all you need to do on Telegram is you need to talk to this bot. So when you search for this bot, this is the bot that I have created. All right, I'm going to start the conversation. It will send me the ID, which is my own ID. All right. But I need to get the ID of this private channel. What I'm going to do, I'm going to send a test message uh, into this channel. All right. And then forward this message to this my chat info bot. It will give me the channel ID. You can see here. So it gave me that channel ID. I had to copy it as a whole and do not remove that minus at the beginning. All right. So for this ID, you don't need to add the add the rate at the beginning. All right. And now for the group, what we need to do, we need to add this my chat info bot to the group. So in the my chat info window, I'm going to select add to the group and select the group. And that's it. So it will send me the group ID now. So we have got the group ID copy and let's click on add and paste. So we have now added all the three uh, destinations on Telegram, which is uh, test group and two channels. Let's send a test message to it to make sure we have everything right. So I'm going to click OK. So the public channel is all good. Let's now go ahead to test with the private channel. It also works. And now let's test the group. There you go. So all the three messages are successful. So that's the bare minimum you need. All right. So we can just go ahead and save changes. All right. So when you save changes, then you can go ahead and see if uh, we can test with posts. One thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to remove the delay and set it to zero. All right. So we can go ahead and see if we can send new posts. So I'm going to add a new post here. And I am going to call it a test post. All right. So here is some content. All right. So you can see this send to telegram option here. So it is already checked by default. All right. So I am going to simply hit publish and you will see it will be sent to all the three channels on Telegram, all the three destinations Telegram. So it has been sent to the group, it has been sent to the public channel, it has been sent to the private channel. So that's how cool and easy it is. Now, there is one more thing that I want to tell you about is this, for example, we have the featured images. So I can add a featured image to the post and select it. And now this option will have automatically turn to off. So I'm going to turn it on again and hit update. And we can see that it will send the featured image to Telegram. All right. So let's wait for it. Yeah, there you go. So it has sent the picture in a nice way in a single message with the caption. All right, so it's been sent to all the three channels. So there are more options in this plugin. So if you uh, look at it, there is one interesting option that you might want to check is this add inline button. So if you enable that option, all right. So what happens, you will have this, um, for example, I'm going to add text here and the URL will be by default as full URL. All right. So I'm going to save it when I save and hit update again. You will see this nice button here at the bottom which says view post. All right. So we can click on it and it will open the, in the post in uh, in the browser. All right, so there are many other options that you can try. For example, if you want to make the title bold, I'm going to add a star uh, around the title and then set the formatting to markdown. All right, and then hit save changes. When I hit save changes and go back to the post edit page and hit update. And this time you should see the title has been made bold. So you can see it's now bold. All right. 
So there are many other options that you can play around with. All right, there is, you can also add uh, many other custom fields into the templates. All right, for example, for WooCommerce, you have regular price, sale price, and many other things that you can do with this. And in another video, I'm going to show you how private notifications work and how proxy module works. So that's it for this new video. So see you in the next video. Bye.